Welcome builders. Here in Iwakuni, Japan, there's a lot of misconceptions that you go to the store and buy your kits. But what I'm gonna tell you is out here, you need to hunt them. Oh crikey. So here we have a very beautiful trail. This is a trail for the SD Gundam. And how you know that is the size, the sheer size of this trail is a little bit smaller than what you normally get with let's say a master grade. So let's go ahead and follow this trail and see where it goes. Oh, oh Christ, okay, hey, hey. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so, so we found it. So we found the great Mazinga. Uh, this thing is non-lethal, but it has a bite. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm, I'm coming from the rear, and I'm gonna get it. There we go, there we go. All right, so it's a little bit wild, but I have it from the rear. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and carefully, I'm gonna carefully take it, and we're gonna examine the outside of the box, and then we're gonna take a look at the innards. But don't worry, it doesn't hurt it. So let's go ahead and take a dive. So what a beauty. This thing just comes out of nowhere. First time seeing this type of species. We do know of the SD cross silhouette species, but the Mazinger is actually new to this region in Iwakuni, Japan. So take a look at this box. You can definitely tell there's a lot of effort that was put into this by Mother Nature herself. So looking here on the side of the box, you can definitely tell as soon as this baby hatches, it will have some amazing detail, articulation, and features. So like other breeds of model kits, this is going to come very, very much plain. It has a little bit of detail, but you're going to have to paint a lot of it if you're going to want that aesthetic you're desiring. Now after we capture this and go ahead and put it up on the store for sale, it will come at a retail price of about 1600 yen. Okay, so now that we have it open, you do not need to worry. This does not hurt the model at all. This is essentially like a cocoon that protects the innards. But even this, when we get inside of the meat, this is still alive and well. So here you can see it's a cross silhouette frame, which is exclusive to this breed of model kit, the Mazinga kits. And looking at runner B, you can see the high gloss, which is super, super impressive. This is Mother Nature at its finest. Moving on to E2, this is another glossy kit. It's a little bit more toned down than the blue, but this you can definitely see the backpack and the powder. And with runner D, you can definitely see the high gloss in the black. It looks super, super impressive. And once again, very eager to go ahead and put this bad boy together. And also you have a clear little runner piece uh, for H2, which is going to be for the powder as well. Continuing on to F2, this is the yellow. It looks very, very neat, very dulled down, unlike the high gloss of the other kits, which should contrast extremely well. And the last runner is runner C, a little bit of an egg white color. It has the nice little sword. It carries the faceplate and other little parts for the kit, but not as high gloss, but still a very semi gloss. And it comes with a little sticker sheet, uh, not as heavy as your normal SD Gundam, but nonetheless, it is a very semi good sticker sheet. Not too many parts that is going to be unable to paint. And lastly, you do get a manual, so you can go ahead and see exactly how to put this bad boy together. So after taking a viewing of its innards and all the outside of the shell, I'm going to go ahead and bring it to my sanctuary, so that way it can flourish with all of its other kind. Okay. So we're still on the hunt for a subspecies of the SD cross silhouette. Now, we already hunted the Great Mazinga, but what we want to find is going to be the Mazinga Z. Z is in Zeto. So this is a little bit trickier to find, but if you find where it's nesting and its feeding grounds are, then it's right near that. So let's go ahead and find out.
All right, so now that we found the berries, we can go ahead and identify exactly where the breeding ground is. Uh, I have a, a little hinting suspicion that it's a little bit over there. So we're going to just take a little bit of a hike and see if we can go ahead and find the Mazinga Z SD cross silhouette. Okay, so with this kit, you have to keep it just a little bit quiet. But if we find it, it's going to be sleeping. Uh, I just, I know it's a little bit of a heavy sleeper, but I don't want to risk it waking up when we actually start handling it. But come on, let's, uh, I, I have a, a sneaking suspicion. It's a little bit close, so let's go a little bit further. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, okay. So here it is, right there, sleeping under the foliage. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it and open this bad boy up, but let's take a look at the outside. So as you can see, its sleeping habitat is sleeping under foliage. A little bit of uh, an odd type of species, since most want just normal environments. Uh, they don't really prefer anything to be covered over them. Uh, but this one in particular definitely likes the ability to be a little more concealed. Kind of like your, uh, your huntsman spiders. So right here, you can definitely see the little effect part with the rocket punch. Uh, very, very dangerous, very lethal. So I would not, I would definitely not recommend you being in the line of sight of that attack. Going further, you can see the interchangeable inner frame, which is something that's a new addition to these kits. So very, very unique, and it is going to have something a little bit different than the other SD cross silhouettes, which makes it such a unique, unique cross silhouette kit. And over here, you can definitely see what it's going to look like unpainted, undetailed. So as an owner, if you do own one of these, you will have to do a little bit of extra work to go ahead and bring out the beauty of this kit. So over here, you do have different eye sets. You have the powder and you also have the jet scrambler and all the little accessories right there. So after looking at the box, we're going to go ahead and open it. And the way you want to open it is just be very, very gentle. Push that to the side and bam. So we're going to go ahead and pull these out and look at them one by one. So looking at these runners, they're going to be very, very similar. And here you can see the gloss black is almost identical to the great Mazinga. Runner B, another high gloss blue. Looking at it, it's just essentially going to be the arms, uh, the little hands, as well as the armor. And then here we have runner C. It's going to be uh, the same type of almost egg white, maybe a little bit of a light grayish color. Uh, looks really good overall. You're going to have to paint some of this little inside where the grill in the front of the mouth is, but that shouldn't be too difficult for you. Another clear piece, this one's going to be for the powder as well. F1 is going to be the yellow, and it is still a semi-gloss, but the yellow looks good nonetheless. It's going to be mostly for the jetpack as well as for the head. Runner E1, going back to that nice little red. It's not too much of a gloss. It's more of a semi-gloss, if I should say so myself, but you're going to have it for the front chest as well as the backpack. And then here's going to be the effect parts I mentioned earlier. Something of a beauty. I just, I never thought that they would have something as beautiful as this in one of these type of kits. And lastly, we're going to look at the cross silhouette frame once again. This is going to be identical to the one we saw in the Great Mazinga. It's very interchangeable and very easy to go ahead and put together. So this beauty is going to go from a very small boy to a very big boy. And also we have a bunch of stickers, a little bit more than the Great Mazinga, I should say. But nonetheless, you're going to have some stickers for the eyes and a lot of white. So maybe prepare to pull out your paint and paintbrush. And lastly, we got the instruction manual. So in order to go ahead and put this together, instead of using your imagination, go ahead and bust out the instruction manual. Okay guys, so with this bad boy sleeping still, I don't want him to be in any danger out here. So I'm gonna bring him back to the Krosama over at the sanctuary. He's gonna go ahead and put it together, keep it really nice and clean. He'll review it for you as well. Uh, but nonetheless, remember, if you come out here to Japan, you need to be prepared to hunt. This is the Gumpla Hunter, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next hunt. See you guys.